peeps, and welcome back to Random Indie Games with me. We have Space Run, or Space Runner, depending on how you look at it. Fast and safe delivery. If you like games that involve space and tower defense in a unique way, this is your game. If you like going from point A to point B, fending off waves of enemies, utilizing shields and weapons and lasers that you do on the fly and build on the spot with ship customization, you will like this game. If you like cheaper games that have a lot of content and give you hours of entertainment, this is your game. So, as you can see here, I've played a lot of this game. I've gotten many hours out of it. And I'm going to take you through one of the more uh, beginning levels. Just kind of showcases a lot of what goes on. There's even a lot of boss battle-like things. In fact, I'm going to back up real quick and show you something else real quick. This is a screen that you'll see a lot of the kind of missions thing that you get to pick off. And then, at, before you choose a mission, though, you have money. Your money and your reputation. Reputation lets you uh, get, unlock certain weapons and certain things you can have, and also unlocks new levels for you to play in. In the engineering section, besides the delivery, which is the missions, you have the unlockable weapons and systems and whatnot that you can buy with the credits that you get over time and unlock utilizing your reputation. So there's offensive modules, so there's lasers, missiles, and then better forms of that. Then the shields. You have normal shields, ion cannons, which are very important to knock down enemy shields if they have them later. And then larger shield generators and other things. And finally, we have power generation and your thrusters, because it's fast and safe delivery. You must get there. The faster you go, the more money you get and the higher reputation you get. Very important stuff. And then just regular information on the type of cargo that you'll end up taking. Some explode, some hurt you, some sap power. You know, it gets interesting later. And then the number of enemies that go from small to large. And then, of course, basic stuff. When you're actually in the mission, certain things just don't work. Like, missiles can't fire at smaller enemies. You need your lasers to do that. Now, here's kind of the ship customization pre-game. So you kind of uh, decide, like, okay, I'm going to place these cargo things that I need to protect somewhere safe towards the middle so it won't get shot at as much. That's very important. And then you have your engine. That's generally all you get. You get your cargo and you get an engine and you gotta put it on there and make it all fit. But you gotta make sure you gotta leave enough room for your defenses. That's always very important. So I'll play the first eh, a couple missions or something. I won't do the tutorial one. I skipped that one. That's why I went down one. Uh, and get this cool little intro sequence as you go through. And some of this is a little memorization. It's, it is preset. So what enemies come at you will come at you. So if you have an issue, you can rework things and Kind of redo it, so I'm gonna open up some weaponry here and uh, load us up some weapons. So I can spend this money that constantly comes in, and also by destroying asteroids and other enemy ships, you get more. Now I've upgraded mine so I can reorient my turrets once they're placed down early game, you won't be able to do that. Uh, which this reorientating thing becomes very important, and also the space that it takes is both one inside the ship and one space outside. So you can't have two turrets smacking at each other. It doesn't work that way. And you can see where the enemies are going to come from. I can shoot them down. These guys take one hit to kill. So that's pretty nice. You can kind of see where they shoot from. Got some asteroids coming in from there. And you got to place your cursor over where the... Uh, uh, let's see what it is. It's got to place your cursor over where you get the money from these guys exploding. So you can see it's floating there. And I pick it up and it comes back to the ship. So that's all good and good. So I can reorientate these things so that I can fend off these asteroids that are coming straight at me and I can take damage and lose certain spots. So it's very important that I don't do that. It's also important that I get more engines because if you see at the bottom here, that's where I currently am. That's my deadline and these two here are the express and light speed delivery. The better I get, the more money I get, the more reputation. So you got to be aware of all these different things and obviously the bigger objects they are, you want to use missile systems and other things. And then another important thing is shields. Shields do not protect you from asteroids. I learned that the hard way on a very big asteroid level. So these shields and weapons have certain abilities too. Uh, you're, if you have power generators, say, next to certain objects, shields, weapons, and whatnot, you can uh, utilize those and they will give your guns and other things better uh, possibilities, which are very important. Better abilities as well. So if I were to add a, and a, some things allow you to have energy throughout the ship farther, or it only goes a certain distance. So I can't just put energy, say, right there and expect my other turrets and stuff to get those abilities. Uh, these smaller shields, very important. They do some good stuff for you and they save a lot of space, which is really nice. 
And these also city ships, you can blow them up for more resources if you have the time, but keep in mind there will be enemies also shooting at you, so you have to keep in mind about that, and you gotta beware, otherwise you get killed. Now, I'm going to add another engine block onto here. I have better and stronger engines, but this is a relatively small ship. You'll deal with very large ships that can deal with, like, this size of an area. So it's very important that you keep that in mind, and the faster you go, the better it is. Uh, so I'm also going to build a shield generator there, so when these enemy ships come in, they won't blow my engines to bits and waste all that lovely money that I had. I still might take some damage. I should be able to kill all these guys with this just fine, so that is very good. And this is a pretty easy level. I mean, obviously you don't have all the resources that I have at hand, but I'm using ones that are very basic. Um, the reorientating ability, though, is helping me a lot. And you can go and replay previous missions to gain more money and more reputation if you need to unlock certain things. Also, I'm coming close up, and if it's green like that, you will overtake it before the end of the level, so you don't need more speed and more thrust. You're good as is, but keep in mind that if you get slowed down at all, you may fall behind the line, and you may not be able to utilize any of that. So just keep that in mind as you play, that that is a kind of important thing, and killing these things give you a lot of moolah, so you can move on forward, accelerating faster towards the end. Obviously, the quicker you get to the end, the sooner and less ships and stuff you have to fight. So keep that in mind. And even later engines, and even these ones have abilities, say, like, uh, sh uh, boosts, or the ability to fold time and space. Eh, well, that's later. <laughs> you won't be doing that in the beginning for certain, uh, for sure, but it happens. So with reorientating, I'm able to reorient and fight off some of these enemies that are coming on me, and considering these shields are protecting me, I should be able to fend off this attack pretty well. Uh, the one ability you always have is recharge, which is very important, because that way when your shield goes down, you can bring it back online for a second go, or recharge it in a downtime, which is also very important. Again, recharge. My Actually, you can repair stuff too if it takes damage, but you have to wait a little bit. So there you go. We made it to the end, and we made it in light speed time. So we get plenty of resources and plenty of money and other good stuff that we can utilize to improve ourselves later in the game. So I had a full reputation on there. I've already won a full reputation on this, so I'm, I can't get any more. And then the delivery is complete. The amount of time it took, the amount of cargo stuff that I got, 100% delivered, and the other ones that you get more than 100% if you choose. And then the amount of credits you get. Light speed delivery. And then as you get more reputation, the story builds up as you are getting more reputation, more people want you to take their stuff, more dangerous stuff, and some more strange things that increase the difficulty a lot. Very, very interesting ones. To show a later one that I like a lot, that I played a lot to farm sort of uh, a lot of money, this is one that I liked a lot. You have to, these nuclear pods that you need to make sure that they don't explode so this is kind of the way I've done it in the past. Also, I've I've come up with a great way of uh, solving this one. Uh, that involves some later technology, so you won't be able to completely utilize this to your advantage. Uh, but there's some very, very strong shields that you get later in the game, but they take up more space on your ship and more money originally to start, so you need to beware <clears throat> that you keep that in mind. So I'm going to build some of these smaller ships here, and it should be good enough for me to... You need power for some later stuff too, so you need to have power connected to them for them to function. So keep that in mind, that you don't want to waste that potential. So I know the setup of this level, so I know exactly what to build and where to build. For the most part, I may forget sometimes, but that's alright. This one turns into a double gun even. Very fast, very slick, and so it can help with these guys and still take these guys out pretty quick. These take two shots, so it obviously takes more, but you get more out of it, except for those guys in the back. So I will build up the second level of defenses I have here. It takes 50 to build generators, so I need to wait a little bit before I can build that. And then the big thing I'm going to build that you see here is the Aegis. The big mother shield. That thing keeps stuff out permanently. If I put one down, nothing's going to get through that shield almost nothing. It's boss battles that cause the slightest amount of problem with it, and that's about it. So hopefully I'll be able to... Oh, looks like they'll be coming in here before I'm ready to go. I should be able to kill them still easily without too much to worry about. 
Consider it done. I should be able to kill him if he gets in range. Aha, he did. Perfect and good to go. And with that, I should be able to build another weapon down here. And that should be enough for me to switch configuration and fight. And see, the way I built these two at an angle so that they have one of their guns always pointing forward so that I can deal with these guys and it has overlapping fields of fire and still be able to help these bottom areas. Very good for this type of turret setup that I can do. And uh, this, there's only one more weapon that I'm going to add to this ship and that'll be it. One more. That's it. It's going to go right there. And I won't need to worry about any other fights at all. I'm just going to build a uh, shield generators and I'll be pretty much good to go. So uh, once I can get that up, we will be flying, my friends. We'll be good to go. So, costs 150 to build this thing. So, yeah, it's kind of expensive, but we can manage. We definitely can manage. Once these guys come through, I should have enough to build the shield generator to my advantage and happiness. Uh, I really would like to get this thing built and up and going before these guys get here so that I can repair this and not lose it in this next coming attack. Should be able to kill them. Yep, I didn't lose power. That's it, this whole front area set and ready to go. It takes two power to power this big mother hunking shield. And it protects a good amount of this area. I build one more of these shields and I will be set for good. Now I'm thinking of just building a smaller shield here so I have some more room for some engines, perhaps. Ah, nah, let's go over the big one again. We're close enough to be able to build the second one anyway, but I still need to build the power, so I need to keep that in mind. Which won't leave much for engines, but you know, it is what it is. Can't always help it. Maybe I will go with a smaller one. It'll take a little bit less power and allow me to build some more good stuff. Here comes the enemies. After this, I should have enough to blow up, or not blow up, but build a power source to uh, maintain this thing and get a shield up so we don't lose any of these turrets. And turrets die really fast when you don't have a shield generator up for them. So keep that in mind. Shields are very important. Even the smaller one can save your ship a lot of pain, a lot of struggle. Now that I have these shields up, I should be good for the rest of the game fighting-wise, but... I am lagging behind. I need to get these engines up and going. I should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven engines up and ready to go for me. Which will be good. And one more engine coming in here. I'll set it up on this one because this is pretty much impenetrable. And for the rest of this whole little match here, I think I'm pretty much set. Every uh, Also on some missions, there's a boss battle that pops up where your engines get disabled. And then you have to, spoiler, sorry, if you wanted that to be a surprise, I apologize. But if you're watching this, you're probably not worrying too much about spoilers for the story and gameplay anyway. But yes, as you play, you will fight a boss occasionally on some levels where they will hold you down and you have to fight them as they circle around you and they'll be blowing up at your shields. And there's some awesome battles I've had with lots of asteroids flying at me. This game gets pretty exciting at some times and can make you very worried. I need to focus a little bit on getting these engines up, otherwise... I'm going to be in a world of hurts because I'm going to fall behind the schedule. I will pass the standard delivery, but I would like to catch up to the express and light speed, hopefully. Uh, but I've been mining on this one, and uh, as you can see here, even this is holding up. It, look at how well it's holding, and I still have the refresh ability, recharge. So uh, this shield just lasts forever. And with the amount of money I just got on that one, I can build another two or three engines to my advantage here. Right away. And all of these engines will just let me burst even faster towards the other things. I can... Ex ah, I'm going to make it to the express delivery now. That is good. One more thing there, and I should be good. I'm hoping that I will be able to do some other stuff. There's hot fixes, so you can repair uh, stuff from those battery engines and whatnot. Will I be able to hit this guy from here? I don't know. I'll reorient this one so that it can hit them without too many problems. If you just want to see where they're coming from, you just put your cursor over them and it'll show where they're going. These are bigger ships that have weapons like I do, so you need kind of missiles generally, but uh, my weapons here are strong enough. This thing even has a laser beam. That's pretty fun and destructive. Luckily, I have recharge on this thing as well, so I should be able to manage quite well against these guys. And as I build here, that's all this ship is ever going to have onto it. It's shield is set to go. These guys should be... I could switch configuration back so I can just shoot straight forward again. 
and hit these guys, which sometimes you need to do, but I do not really need to do it here. These bigger ships can sometimes be a problem because they have lots of missile bays on them and shields and other stuff that deals a great deal amount of damage, and they move slow throughout here, and they can deal a lot of damage if you aren't prepared for them. So a bit of this is somewhat memorization, but you can make it through the first time quite well. If you want to perfect it, then you might need to come back and do it again. If you destroy the enemy's main centerpiece there, it blows up the entire ship, like me. Mine is right there. If that dies, whole kit and caboodle's gone. And these explosive ones are right next to it, so <clears throat> it's very important that they do not die at all. Now, I cannot sadly boost anywhere because I don't have any of these things connected to them. Sad day for me, but I'm going to add another power there because I can, because I have the money, so why not? And this is kind of how the game works. Uh, you protect yourself, and there's a big attack here come through. I should be able to defend this off pretty well. I've got it set up so that I should be able to maintain an a attack from them. I focus a lot more on defense in this game than attack sometimes. But sometimes it's much more advantageous to go with attack than it is defense. Have smaller shields set up spread around so that you can inflate them and let them defend areas when you're being attacked selectively. Be a little more tactical and can be a little better that way. I didn't make light speed uh, time, but I did make the express time, which is about four star reputation, which is pretty good, especially when you're playing like this and you know what you're doing. But these shields are massive and they do some good stuff. So there you got four stars, a good amount of credits, and uh, I made it complete there, safe and whatnot. So that's kind of how this game works. It's pretty fun. Um, I just showed you two missions there that I made pretty easy myself simply because they're an earlier level while I have stronger weapons. So obviously it's gonna be a lot more tougher the first time you go through. Uh, like you can see here, uh, let's see, which one? This one, see there's a uh, symbol there. That means pirates, you're being attacked and they're trying to steal your booty. There is kind of good, cool characters. I do like kind of the characters they have here. Uh, it's not too integral. The main part is the gameplay and the excitingness of it and lasers and all that other cool and exciting stuff. So, I hope you've been enjoying this game. It's pretty cool. You can go find it on Steam. I'll have the link in the description. And so, peeps, I hope you've been enjoying this, and I will see you later! Kill the rabbits! Kill the rabbits! Oh. All right, well, we'll just take out the tree and take it out. I will destroy you. <laughs> so you go as an evil mad scientist to be put in this weird world where you have to survive. And there's traps and stuff that you can use to catch those rabbits if you don't want to deal with their craziness. And here's a trap. Oh, 